guys, I'm just over here on a sunny day fanning myself with thousands of dollars because I'm about to make a purchase. What could this purchase be? Let's find out. We're actually headed up to Grand Rapids today, which is 45 minutes, about maybe almost an hour north of Kalamazoo. So today we're gonna be checking out three vans. We're gonna be checking out a, an ambulance, which has been converted into a music rock and roll thing called the Jambulance. I have no idea, but, and then we're gonna check out this other, just like regular van. I think it's in a lot or a leasing lot. And then the final play, thing we're gonna look at is a Sprinter about half an hour east of Grand Rapids. So we'll take you along for the ride and hopefully we're gonna walk away with something today. So see you there. All right guys, mission complete. The Jambulance is right outside. Let's go check it out. There it is, the Jambulance. This whole strip up here is all like auto sales all the way up the road. So it looks like there's a couple other options here that maybe we could look at. All right, so here's the Jambulance, Ace High Entertainment. Yeah, rock and soul van, it's an old ambulance. I don't know, we were just like, let's come check this thing out, you know? I kind of like this Dodge Fiesta right here too though. Nineteen ninety five Ford E Series Cargo. This fan looks cool too. I wonder how much this is. Eek. All right, can't afford that. Want to walk around the lot, babe, over here? Look at that one. What's up? This car right here is interesting. There's all sorts of like coachmans and, oh, this says coming soon. So they're probably not like selling these yet, I guess. Oh, look at all these. These are all the ones we've been looking at online. This little guy. Dodge Ram. Oh, look at this classic. Reminds me of the Ghostbusters car. All right, rock and soul band, dude. <laughs> Who knows, this could be our new vehicle, guys. This is crazy. And um, you know, we deal with vans here and we like oddball stuff and we saw those things like that. So. <laughs> We, we just made sure we want to make the mechanics. The mechanics are good. We had to leave the inside like it was. Okay. All the, the, just all the cool pictures and stuff like that. We left yeah. that. It didn't have a stereo in it. It's a Jambulance. It has to have stereo. So we put the stereo back in it. Oh, wow. That's it funny. We have tunes now. Yeah. But it was actually used for a mobile DJ studio. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, neat. All right. Let's take a peek inside here. Diesel fuel. And then, is this your place, DNL? Yep. Cool. Yeah, I'm the, uh, I'm the DM, Darren, for the day. My wife is Elfin Lori. Oh, cute. Okay. All right. Let's see the inside. Nice. It's clean. All right. Um, you're. Are you able to stand up, babe? Kind of. Or? Close, but I don't get it. Oh yeah, it's pretty spacious in here though. Close. Look at that. Close <laughs> enough. Oh look at the inside of this. So cool. Jimi Hendrix, Rolling Stones. I wish the Johnny Cash poster was still there. Oh right? Yeah. Got Frank Zappa right there. Nice. So cool. Oh my God, Kid Rock. Oh, let's see what this is. Oh. 
184,349. That's a great stereo. So what are you guys looking to do? My folks live in New York. Okay. So uh, we're trying to go see our parents and stuff without being on mass transit. Yeah. We were living in Brooklyn for a long time. Okay. And that's like not good right now. Right. Um, story about it is, is we both moved to Cambodia. Yeah, like in January, yeah. And then she went to India and uh, for a yoga retreat. Okay. And then um, we got separated. And, <laughs> and then and then U.S. <laughs> citizens were not allowed back into Cambodia. So I was evacuated by the freaking Mormons. Oh my gosh. On the first evacuation flight out of India because it was a dangerous situation. And yep. so yep. then because of that whole situation, um, I think Americans are allowed back in now, okay. but you have to get like $50,000 in insurance, you have to have a COVID test and all this stuff, and the reality is, um, like every, with everything going on in Cambodia, um, the economy is flatlined because there's no more tourism. Yeah, sure. So we're just like, dude, if we did go back right now, even though we have an amazing community, what would we do for work? It's just an absolute cost free van. Lot, a lot of these little things will pull this little sound underneath and it's so solid. I just looked on you, it looks so clean. Yeah. Brand new batteries. And like I've Mine. driven it, you know, I helped my son move with it and I did a couple projects with it. It's, it, it runs out real nice for a big old van, you know. I sure. just look under the hood. Oh, sure. To act like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> right. We Neither of us have owned a car in like so long because we live in New York for oh, the no most kidding. of it. And then in Cambodia, there's this like application for your phone. Tuk Tuk's are way cheaper than they used to be. It's 75 cents to get anywhere in town. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. Our rent, we had a two bedroom, gorgeous sunlit apartment. Yep. It was 350 a month. Wow. Yeah. A different than I mean, we're artists. We're like, yo, we just want to keep the overhead low. You right. know what I'm saying? Yep, exactly. So now this is our next low overhead venture right here. I like it, I like it. So this little guy speaks to my heart <laughs> right up here. All right, guys, Blair is going to take the Jambulance for a cruise. Power windows work. That's good. It's pretty loud, huh? It is a tank. Turn this off. All right, driving the Jambulance. It's the Dumb and Dumber van. Look at that. Guys, we're officially in the countryside again. So we do like the Jambulance. It's a little bit loud, but there's some definite perks to it. It's got insulation already. It has electric. It has a great new stereo. No rust because it's from California. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like a, right it's here, babe. definitely on the map for consideration. There it and is. now we're pulling up to check out the Sprinter van in the middle of the countryside. So I guess we're half an hour early, but it look, looks like the guy's right there. So let's just pull in and see what happens. <laughs> looks like he's just kind of like out here having a cigarette waiting for us. Facilities and services. to look at this van, is that okay? All right, so this was originally owned by the Detroit Public Library, so interesting history there. Nice slider door here. I like the window on the side, so that's really fantastic. And this thing is so spacious that me, being very tall, I can completely stand up right up inside it. Oh, that's great. It's super cheap. For the, what it is, this is not asking a whole lot for it. I got a good deal on that auction, so. Oh, this is like so clean inside. Wow. Whoa. This is very clean. Very nice. 
Okay, feels comfy. Super clean on the inside too. Good enough for me. I gotta go like this. Push that back. Look at this thing, man. This thing is a beast. Ooh, I like the sound of it. Smooth. Here we go. We're gonna take this thing for a spin. So I like that this has been acquired from the Detroit Public Library. That means that's why the mileage is lower. The crack is pretty minor, but yeah, we'd have to get the shield replaced. So there's a crack up here too. All right, I'm gonna drive this big rig. My first time driving a Sprinter. You just concentrate on driving. I am, Ben. Just <laughs> hold the camera. Up. All right, let's see. Oh, that pickup's not bad. It's just big, you know? Well, you feel how you're holding it down? Yeah. And it's not like going. Like... Yeah, it takes a while, or it takes a second to like gear up. Hey. It's down, yeah, I don't like that. Because there's this car behind me and they're probably getting pissed off. A little bit hard on the steering wheel, babe. What's wrong with the steering? It's just a little bit tough. How's it look under there? Looks okay. Rust? There's just like a chain holding up this muffler. That's kind of funny. There's a chain holding the muffler up? Wow, so this guy, him and Blair are taking off to like go check out the manual driving because I guess it goes from automatic to manual. So he was like, why don't you go hang out in the garage? This place is pretty epic. Look at this card table. Uh, he's living on a good plot of land here, and there's like lots of toys here. Whew. Feels good in here. Lots of deer heads. Yeah, it definitely looks like a hunter, that's for sure. Lots of skulls. All right guys, good morning. We've driven back up to Grand Rapids because we're gonna check out the Jambulance a second time and today we're gonna take an in-depth look at it and I'm also gonna be driving it today to get a feel for it because we're very interested in purchasing this vehicle and Darren, the amazing owner, has given us a nice hefty discount. So it's still above our budget by, by nearly $1,000 but you know, I think it might be worth it. So let's do it. Blair's digging in on that. What is that? Twist. There she is again, guys. Good morning. Oh, Brand new speaker auxiliary. and an auxiliary cord. Landing gears down. Check. Okay, so th this doesn't work. Battery charge. Check. Electric. Check. Look at this, Water you guys. Pump. This is this check. is nuts. <laughs> So as far as the seatbelt, we only have the waist seatbelt, so we're gonna have to maybe think about getting the crossbody seatbelt. I'm scared. Do I have to, I have to back up first, right? Is this the audio system? Yeah. That's an amp. And I don't know what's, I probably it's wires in that box. 
Hi guys, I'm just over here on a sunny day fanning myself with thousands of dollars because I'm about to make a purchase. What could this purchase be? Let's find out. Pack it up, ship it out. Let's go see what's going on. Gorgeous. This money smells good, guys. <laughs> Heading into an unknown location. I got the hard cold cash for you, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. And it ended up being a couple bucks cheaper. Oh, that's great. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four. You know how hard it is not to lick your hands? You know, right? this whole thing for Do you know how hard it was not to like shake your hand through this whole process? I'm know, like, this right? is sucks, man. Exactly. We were like, let's just load our hands up with sanitizer and give it a go. <laughs> cool. All right, here is. Nice. Uh, All right, let's sign this puppy. It's official. No turning back now. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, awesome. I don't want it. <laughs> nope. It's too the late. Ambulance is now ours. <laughs> So did you have a lot of people come by and look at that, or? I did. It was funny. I actually had an ambulance crew come and look at it and get out and take pictures of it. So, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the Jambulance. It's going down, going down. Baby, just look at me now. 1995 Ford E-Series Cargo. Former ambulance, now converted into the Jambulance. We can do it if you say so Keep it quiet, I'ma lay low Show me love, but it's, it's fake, oh yeah Cause she's a devil with a halo I want it now Oh, we're taking the ambulance for a spin! Look at this, everyone, the whole family fits in here Even the dog! Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what it looks like Here we go, the dog I still really ain't got shit Lil shorty try to steal my heart But baby, no, you ain't slick It feels like hour after hour I'm on top of my shit Yeah, I'm on top of my shit Lil boy, you moving too quick And lately, I'm on a roll, yeah I'm on a roll, yeah